the owl sessions are their help info sessions without the sort of connotation of tutoring. Tutoring has this kind of uh, sentiment where it's like people who are struggling, like you go to get tutored. Owl session, you don't have to be struggling. I mean, you go simply just because you want to understand the material better. A lot of the more lecture-based classes um, don't have very much opportunity for students to practice with the material while they're learning it, so OWLS really gives um, a chance for students to practice solving problems um, and also review the material with other students. Oftentimes, uh, people come in at the beginning of the session and they're like, oh, I'm really, I'm really like worried about this topic, you know, nowadays I'm just, I, I just don't know what's going on in class, and, and as during the course of the session, we really actually do know what's going on in class. They give an opportunity for students who are working in the course to go and have sort of a safe space where they can talk to peers. The faculty are always saying that we're available and we are in fact available, but I think there's something special about working with fellow students that allows one to really open up and explore um, areas to admit when, when you don't understand things easily. There is a finite set of information that needs to be learned, and beyond learning that information needs to be applied to answer real problems. And that's the part we test them on. We don't test them on how good they are at memorizing, or how good they are at making pictures, or how good they are at repeating something I've already told them in class. That's not the point. The point is for the students to go above and beyond that and figure out in whatever their strengths are, you know, how they learn, how they, whether they like to write, they like to make pictures, they like to talk. If they can understand the material, that's all we really want. A typical OWL session usually entails a series of activities that kind of takes the material that the students learn in class and puts it in a new context where they can really interact with it, um, whether that's drawing pictures of things that in the lecture was just coming out of the teacher's mouth as words that they were listening to, kind of helps them reframe their, their notes in a new way. And a lot of the activities involve students talking to each other, explaining things to each other, asking questions. You know, we try and have it be as much of a interactive process as possible. It's a lot of one-on-one -on -one work, and especially for a lot of the lecture courses that have upwards of 50 to even 95 in my neuroscience course, it's really hard to get that one-on-one -on -one vibe with the educator versus the student. And that's something that, for me, coming from a very small school is something that's very important to me. And I think the OWLS does a really good job of really kind of maintaining that small student to uh, teacher ratio. There's some students who come through that are clearly, you know, majors in whatever they're studying in the session. They know they already want to do it. They're really good at it, but they just want to keep working with the material. And then there's other people who, you know, it's a science class and this is their one required science class. Normally they study some sort of humanities and they're really struggling. Um, and it's a great thing to see those types of students interact with each other. A lot of classes at Oberlin um, have a lot of material that the students have to master and it really helps to study a little bit um, every week rather than waiting for, say, the weekend before the test. So OWLS gives an opportunity for students to come together and help motivate each other to study as the semester goes on. I mean, it is a place where you go to better yourself as a student and as a learner, uh, which is very important, especially if you're trying to do well in these courses that are very difficult. I would definitely encourage a student to come uh, and just see what it's like, because I think it's really valuable, the experience of coming in and interacting with the material in a new way, if you come and sort of force yourself to interact with the material before you start cramming for the test, uh, it's really valuable for when you do start studying, you'll realize like, actually, I remember a lot of this stuff already. It's a lot easier when the big exams come around.